Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Bry Guy 309 versus Tongue, and this is going to be another top 32 of the Tournament of Power, and you can check out Yu-Gi-Oh! Sports Center, the tournament organizer, link down below at the very top of the description, and Bry Guy is Brian Anguali, I know who he is, but I'm really bad with names, but that's him, well, Florida guy, and then Tongue is Avery Foster, um... So you may have heard of them, but let's go ahead and hop right in. We're going to see Bry Guy win the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and they'll go first 40 versus 41. Opening hands, we have Prosperity, Desires, Talents, Shifter, Desires. Jeez. They have Shadal, Fusion, Nadir, Servant, Ash, Failure, Droll. Jeez. Um, okay, so they're going to go ahead and start with Prosperity. That's crazy. Don't you start with Desires. Because now, oh my god, okay, this, they play five targets for Pross, but that's wild. But, um, you definitely start with Desires there, right? It's like, oh, I guess it's just like, it's harder for Desires to get you to a starting play than Prosperity. It just sucks, because now we actually play in the, like, the Ash Blossom a lot more in a hand where we could beat it. We're going to Pross, Chain Shifter... And then looking at the top six, that's going to go ahead and grab us Pressured Planet. You know, we can't get hit with Droll because Shifter. And then go ahead, put back, but it will make Ash hurt more. Activate Pressured Planet, activate Ash Blossom. And then we're going to go Talents, look at the hand. And then, wow, they admit defeat. Yeah, I guess it's because, like, this just hits Nadir's Servant. And then, like, next turn they do nothing, and then they know what deck they're on, so I guess they just admit defeat there. But, wow, they gotta feel good about that talents and do admit defeat, because they probably did not feel super confident with that game. And then, on to game number two, we're gonna see the opponent go first. We got Imperm, Unicorn, Tier Limit, Cash Tira, Pressured Planet, and Rise Heart. They have Nib, Schism, Valor, Ecclesia, Nib. Okay, well, Summon, Effect, Chain Imperm, and then... Well, they're letting that go... Okay, okay, here's the thing, is if somebody's first play is normal summon Ecclesia effect, don't you just imperm that like 10 out of 10 times, because what is their next play? There isn't a next play, right? Unless if I guess they go like Nadir, Servant, and the Maximus, but like you kind of want Maximus to resolve, you play like 5 good cards to dump, I don't know, like, you, can, you can still get some value out of it, I forget what they were, but you could get something out of it. They're going to set, pass, draw pressured planet, and then special summon out unicorn, unicorn effect, chain veiler. Then we're going to go activate rise heart to special summon out onto the field. They're going to go punishment on rise heart, dump app cologne. So pop that, and then activate app cologne effect, and then app cologne is going to go ahead, grab squamata, discard squamata, squamata effect go dump, and then squamata is going to dump wendy, wendy effect, to go special summon set face down the Shadal Beast. Okay. And then activate Pressured Planet. Go search for Rise Heart. Not sure why you do that there. Because you it's not like you're using the Rise Heart to extend. You're still just going to go like Tier Limit, Cash Tier Row, Banish Special Summon, Effect, Make Themselves Mill 3. They hit Birth, Bell, Shifter. And then overlay those. Summon out Shangri Law. Normal Summon Rise Heart now. And then, oh my gosh, the copy of base of the effect of Nib. What an animal. Go ahead, drop it. Said sorry, misclick. That's crazy. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know, it, it might have been a misclick, but that, that, that feels like sometimes, like, when your opponent goes, like, I don't know, like, Prosperity for 6, and you set the Ash Blossom, you pass it over, you say misclick, force them to flip it. But pass, they draw Valor. Flip Beast, Effect, Chain Imperm on that. They can't do anything because Punishment. I don't even think they could do anything anyways. Well, I mean, like, uh, obviously Schism would have been able to do something, but I meant, like, Link Place. Like, obviously there's no Anaconda. Pass, draw Theosis. That's a, that's a solid draw. Activate Pressured Planet. Like, that's that's very good there. Grab Scare Claw, Cash Tira, Activate, Banish, Special Summon, and then they're going to go Activate Theosis. Theosis, bring out Unicorn, they said, think here, King, and then Unicorn Effect, Chain Valor, okay, uh, switch to attack, battle phase, attack over Shadal Beast, and then they're going to attack over the Nib, overlay in the Shangri-La, pass, the main phase, activate, what do you go for here, 
Okay. I guess you just use Apocalune to negate Pressured Planet, and then whatever they summon off of this. Like, assuming that it's like Fenrir, you can beat over it. Yeah. You kind of want this here, too. Like, you want that to stay and everything, because that lets Shadal Fusion be free. Draw Wendy, Shangri La, summon Fen Exactly. Yup, yup, yup. Beat over. And then main phase two, go for gravity controller, app clone effect, grab shit all fusion. We even drew Wendy, so that's like a good discard here. And then Wendy effect. Yeah, they're gonna emit the feet. So going on to game three now, we're gonna see Cash Tira go first. Opening hands, we have Talents, Unicorn, Birth, Tier Limit, Cash Tira, Birth. They have Lightning Storm, El Shadal, Shadal Fusion, Ecclesia, and Nib. Okay. So special summon unicorn, uh, unicorn effect. Grab out Theosis, and then activate Theosis, special summon Fenrir, uh, activate the Fenrir effect now to go search, okay, grab out Kashtira Rise Heart, and then overlay in the Shanger Law, special summon Rise Heart. I still don't get why people do it in this order, it is just not the correct order, you're supposed to go Unicorn, Fenrir, special Rise Heart, then make Shang. You have to do it that way. You have never been hit with Moonlit and it shows. Special summon. Like, you obviously have the playthrough here because you have the extender, but like, oh my gosh, it's so annoyed. Banish Big Bang. Make him banish three face down. Then hit Schism there. And then we're going to go Big Bang, Shangri-La. So, yeah, we're going to lock. Special summon out the Fenrir. Then activate Tier Limit, Cash Tira. Special summon, banish Theosis. I'm surprised we didn't make a Rise Heart first. Um, maybe we just don't play like a rank 7 to make. I was gonna say, yeah, we probably just don't play anything to make. Because we could have gone for a Rise Heart, because Tier Limit Cash Tier is the one that does give you 2 for it. But they're gonna go Banish Theosis, and then Effects, Add Back, and then Mill 3. They don't mill anything. Overlay, make another Shangri La, and then go Rise Heart on top of that. Set Big Bang, End of Main. And this said, you know what time it is. Pass over the nib token, and then they're thinking still, because they have talents to rip. They're going to draw with the talents. Okay. I guess there's got to be a decent amount of good draws, like Desire, Summon Limit, Ash Blossom. Like, we've gone through a decent amount of engine. Um, best of lucky. Yeah, I'm, I'm peeping there, 100%. We draw Shifter, Unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It get, I guess gets kind of punished for not peeping their hand. Um... Yeah, if I looked at their hand, I would just rip the Ecclesia. The other cards are dead unless if they draw good. And if you rip El Shadal and they draw good, then the Shadal Fusion's live anyways. So, these are pretty much like the same card when it comes to like their top deck. So, yeah, I was just ripping Ecclesia there. Putting them on better draw good. Birth, Summon Fenrir. But obviously they don't know the hand. But like, I just don't know why you would draw there when you already have like follow up. And looking at their hands like really really strong they draw wendy because like this isn't an interruption the fenrir loses it to nib so like that's just gonna get beat over and then they drew wendy which was broken because now they can go el shadal they said bop it cha-cha real smooth bring out construct and then effects wendy construct so we're gonna dump squamata set hedgehog squamata effect go dump this player actually topped with shadal during print kid format they're gonna dump dragon, dragon effect, pop birth, attack, effect, pop token, make gravity controller, construct effect, add back the El Shadal fusion, and then we can go special out Ecclesia, effect, it's like, do you even go for Maximus? It's kind of scary, just because, I was gonna say, just because, like, the opponent's on cash, they can play stuff to attach, so they're gonna set punishment, El Shadal, so how many interruptions is this? This is just like El Shadal into like Construct or Winda plus Punishment. I mean, I guess like Winda, Summon Winda plus Punishment sounds pretty good. Uh, draw Summon Limit, but it's actually not the greatest because they have Birth Normal Summon. So they're going to activate El Shadal here. El Shadal is going to use those, go in the Winda, and then they're going to go Hedgehog Effect. But I guess it doesn't work. Yeah, it won't even work because we drew Summon Limit. We need to draw good. Because if we go activate birth, okay, birth effect is special. Hello, my DB is super bugged. Normal? Normal? Nah, you're definitely supposed to go birth effect is special. 
Because otherwise, if you go normal unicorn, I feel like they're just 10 out of 10 times going to go pop, entus, pop, birth, and put you on have more, and you don't. So I feel like you should have gone activate birth, birth effect is special, and put them on do something there. Um, Because they might not even entus, pop, birth then. Maybe. No, they probably still do. But then at least you still have this in hand. Yeah. So you're going to punishment... Target Unicorn, Dump Elder, Elder Effect, Pop Birth, and they said, GG's, GG. Okay, seeing how long the match was, the match was about 28 minutes long, a uh, fairly normal length game. Uh, I mean, okay, we're going to see them move on the top 16. I actually need to ask if the decks are, like, locked in, like you had to submit a deck list, because I, I, I want to see if they can, like, change deck lists and stuff. That'd be interesting, because otherwise, you know, this player is stuck with Shadals the entire tournament. Um, I don't know. Might be a little bit tough. Might be a little bit tough, but we'll see if they're able to do it or not. Um, yeah, and with all that being said, again, make sure to go ahead and check out Yu-Gi-Oh! Sports Center. Link down below at the very top of the description in the DB Grinders. Signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.